Criticate! Welcome back to Criticade. <laughs> oh shit, we started again. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Criticade. Um, we, and I mean, the thing is, still, we we play games we hate, but we don't have to exclusively play games we hate. Quick, we? Jacob, make a short YouTube poop of of us saying "Welcome to Criticade." <laughs> Put it right here. Yeah. So good. I'm, I enjoyed that. Thanks, Jacob. Yeah, Jacob, that was really funny. Uh, we actually, <laughs> we have to discuss how that's gonna work. YouTube poops. No, God, no. <laughs> How do YouTube poops work? Jacob editing and and me editing and multiple Jacobs editing. You're just gonna fucking do it. That's not a plan. <laughs> just Jacob, anyway. We're Jacob, make death. an episode. <laughs> Put it right here. <laughs> oh, I died. Shit. Well, that's the Who's end of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> Next time on Criticade, we uh, we can't do that either, can we? Do what? Next time on Criticade. No, because that's like a ripoff. That's like a ripoff. We gotta find our new thing. Remember that time where we said, we're not gonna mention YouTubers this episode. We, we're we not. We're saying we need to be more unique. And we do. No. We need to be unique and funny and talented. But we're clearly a ripoff. We are not. No one comes <laughs> to our channel expecting us to be unique and funny. God. They just expect us to be good looking boys. Jacob, just post over Game Grumps audio <laughs> <laughs> to this game. But for like five seconds. For like, yeah. What is that? Oh, that looks cool can't buy it. I'm a big fan of Captain Boomerang from the movie Suicide Squad. That's not what he's from. No, he's he, from he Suicide Squad. No, Jacob, he's from Suicide he's Squad. He's a fucking Flash villain. Who's the Flash? <sighs> <laughs> I'm, I'm actually proud. I caught up on Flash. Did you? I did. Wow. It was like, I decided to do it the day the finale came out, and I'm like, I'm going to finally be caught up. Barry dies. I mean, yeah. No, he doesn't, guys. I lied. Barry's the Flash. He does. does he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, we can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. It's like Harry dies. No one... It's technically true, but it's not really a spoiler, is D it? That's true. He will come back for <laughs> season four. Yeah. Of, of the Flash. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which, you know what? I, I'm enjoying, but I'm, I'm having a lot of trouble getting through Arrow. Uh, yeah. Have, wait, are you watching season five? I'm on season four of Arrow. Oh, uh, so season five of Arrow what? is one of the best seasons of TV I've ever really? seen. Yes. Wow. Yeah, it's really, it's really tense. Oh, man, I want to get to that, but and I want to get to Legends and Supergirl. Legends and everything. makes my dick hard. Really? The first season sucks. Oh, okay. Just cool. straight up is bad. Cool. The second season makes it's me rock fucking, fucking awesome. hard. Yeah. yeah. It's, they just, basically the first season, they just try and like, they're like, oh, we're doing a time travel show, which means we gotta really, really abide to the, to the canon. We got Rory. <laughs> <laughs> that thing for a little bit? Shit, I died. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you suck. I, what Cock. are you talking They, they increase the difficulty after the first one. Bullshit. They do. Bullshit. They, I'm fairly certain they do. No. This okay. game's easy. Anyway. You're bad at video games. Spoiler. We're going to stop talking about TV shows that we like because we just alienated the entire audience for like two minutes. Wait, what? No. What are you talking about? Well, the people don't watch the same TV we do. Well, you don't know that. Also. Well, I highly recommend watching also, the first two seasons of Arrow, the first season of Flash, the first season of Supergirl, I, and the second season of DC Legends of Tomorrow. I, yeah, I recommend that also. Except I'd say, I'd say watch them in order, no matter what. Like, watch all of them. All yeah. Of them. Well, basically watch up to season three, episode eight of The Flash, <laughs> and then watch every other episode of every other series up until that crossover point. Yes, yeah. That, and then that's and then good, continue that's afterwards. Advice. Yep. That's uh, advice. So you can see like that. the whole the whole world culminating together in like a dope ass crossover. Yeah, they they need to do Crisis. I'll say that they need to do Crisis. Well, no, because then then not soon. <laughs> Pretty soon. Well, because they, they already said that, that Crisis is going to happen in 2024. <sighs> like, in canon. I, I know, but there's multiple crises. I there, know. There's, there's crises. one good one. There is one good one, but, you know, I, I think they need to bring it in sooner so that we can get a little bit more... I don't know. It, the, the DC Universe doesn't feel complete without Batman and Superman and... Uh, I guess Wonder so. Wonder Woman and Cyborg. It just doesn't... Feel, but I wouldn't... It feels like they're delegating every Batman thing to, to Green Arrow. I wouldn't... Well, yeah, they are. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't... Honestly, I'm kind of used to the world. Like, it's like the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'm used to it without X-Men. If they introduced X-Men, yeah. it would just kind of be weird at this point. 
I wouldn't say it would be weird. I, I would... It would take some getting used to, but I would I would welcome it. And they're clearly working to a point where they can introduce Supergirl into the mainstream DC yes, TV universe. Yes, they are. But and then that, they're just like a lot, but they're they're making Black Lightning now. Are they? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> it's funny. I've actually never read Black Lightning. I know nothing about Black oh, Lightning. Black Lightning was invented during the like, like the weird G- Super Friends show. Oh yeah. It was yeah. invented because. Um, there was a character that was like Black Lightning, but they didn't have the rights to use him in the show. Gotcha. So they're like, he's black and uses lightning. Black Lightning! <laughs> that, that's him. That's his, that's his origin story. Well, it's they, fucking hilarious. They've already announced that it's not going to take place in either the world of Supergirl or Arrow and the Flash. Oh. So they're making a new superhero show on the CW, a DC superhero show, Sure. that doesn't take place in the universes, and it's probably going to cross over with them, and they're probably just going to have to fucking... Explain it all over again. I guess. Stupid. It's <laughs> fucking stupid. Yeah, it is, it's stupid. I think. Um, what was I gonna say? Why oh, are you a box man. Uh, Cause I. Dude, I, I love Smosh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that they should make that Static Shock instead. <laughs> Smosh. No. They should make Static Shock. No, instead of Black Lightning. Why? I, I what, like if, what if you turn on the CW and they they're like now announcing. The Smosh. brand new <laughs> Smosh TV series, Static Shock. <laughs> and like... <laughs> That'd be funny, actually. You <laughs> Really? I, I love weird shit like that, when like it doesn't make sense. Do you like, mean like the like the proposed Green Lantern Jack Black movie? Yes! I love that I shit. I would have loved to see that Or film. like the petition to make Danny DeVito the voice of Detective Pikachu. Didn't that go through? The petition went through. It's not happening. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I'm sure we're, we're just waiting no, on it any day now. No, fucking no. But I, I love the idea of that. I think it's fuck, It's hilarious. Uh, we should do a petition to rename this the show Ha Ha Harambe. <laughs> uh, yeah, we will rename our channel Ha Ha Harambe at 2 million <laughs> subscribers. <laughs> You're a wizard, Harry. Uh, <laughs> no, look at my face. <laughs> no, that's like that's like the guy who always like. <laughs> I get extra shots from it, so it is useful. Dude, speaking of shots, don't vaccinate your shot, kids. Shot, no. <laughs> God damn it! No. Guys, I'm fucking with you. Definitely Please don't vaccinate. vaccinate your kids. <laughs> Guys, I'm fucking with you. Don't have kids. You're 12. <laughs> uh, if you are 60 years old and have grandchildren, please don't watch this channel. All we the, hate you. <laughs> all the 60-year-olds that watch us. Do you think? Do you think that we're ever gonna have a 60-year-old subscriber? Our parents. That they're gonna- My parents are 50. Our parents will eventually turn 60 and watch one of our videos. And they're gonna be like, they'll be one. Why are they talking about <laughs> sleeping with each other? <laughs> are they gay? <laughs> and then, and then they're gonna the stumble across the audio. Like, I'm by. <laughs> <laughs> I like to get deep dicked. Uh, that's not what I said. You did. I. You said I'm Jacob. I want to get deep dicked. No, I love your Jacob impression. <laughs> yeah, it comes from nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically my impression of everything is that exact voice. Oh yeah, that's true. It's me just going, hey. <laughs> it's oh, like I love I pussy. <laughs> I'm Jacob. It sounds like like a novice voice actor was told to do Superman. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, hey, I'm Superman. I'm Superman. I come to save the day. I can move faster than a uh, speeding car. Stop that, Lex Luthor. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Superman. <laughs> I'm Lex Luthor. I'm rich. We should do an animated DC show. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going to do an improv skit where I'm Superman, you're Lex Luthor. We just did. You oh, stop well. it, Lex Luthor. You, you are tying too many women on train tracks for me. Superman. Superman. You are a danger to this world. My tying women to train tracks will save humanity. You are an alien who is not deserving of the title of Messiah. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like my Lex Luthor? What <laughs> <laughs> was that fucking Jesse Eisenberg? Yeah. It was Jesse Eisenberg, and I've been watching a lot of... Um, Batman v Superman lately? No, no. Because that would be... No. Uh, have, you, have you seen um, Up to My Knees? 
No, what's that? He's a channel. He's like a. He's a real screenwriter for Hollywood. Okay. And he loves comic books and wrestling and shit. And actually, Jake got me into him. Okay, cool. And um, my buddy Jake, friend at the show. Yeah, yeah. So for for reference, I'm Jacob. Robert has a separate friend named Jacob, and we both have a separate friend named Jake who has a separate friend named Jacob. <laughs> so <laughs> good luck keeping that straight. In your sometimes head. we hang out. Sometimes we don't. <laughs> and it's confusing. <laughs> uh, sometimes we all kiss. Yeah, so Up To My Knees does like this. He, he did a review of um, the story arc where Superman dies, and he, he wrote an alternate version of that. It's just like a pitch for like what he would do if he was writing that comic book. Yeah. And it was it's super good. And so <laughs> I was, good. Yeah, I was just channeling that. Because <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's, like he's a real screenwriter in Hollywood and shit. Who kills him? Who kills him in, the, in his rewrite? Uh, in his rewrite, no one kills Lex Luthor. Oh, oh, you mean Superman? Yeah, is it still Doomsday? It, it's do- Doomsday beats the shit out of Superman, and then Superman retires the mantle, and Superman effectively dies as Zod becomes an alternate Superman. That's wacky. Yeah, right? It's, I love me a good villain redemption story arc. <laughs> no, it's not a redemption. I mean, he becomes you mean evil like Superman, basically. You mean the... Uh, the current DC story arc where one Superman dies and then Lex Luthor takes up the mantle of Superman? I guess, but this video was made a long time ago. Wow, so DC, no way. way to steal ideas <laughs> from YouTubers. All right, here's yeah. my idea for a little bit of a, for a comic arc? book. Sure. This is a Superman story arc. Okay. What if Superman, get this, had no ideas <laughs> for this joke? <laughs> <laughs> What if Superman was interesting? I mean, really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Look, uh, <laughs> what if Superman and Supergirl, they weren't related, and they had a baby? Was that a real story arc? I feel... No. That sounds, re- <laughs> that sounds real. <laughs> no, there's a bunch of, like, like Golden Age Superman comics where he talks about fucking Supergirl really creepily. Really? Yeah, because they're, they're totally cousins. Yeah, I know, but, like... My favorite... My favorite... Um, comic book uh, panel from that era is not my favorite. My oh, what I think is the funniest. Yeah, is Supergirl's talking and she's like, "Superman, are you gonna marry Lois Lane?" And Superman's like, "No. If I was to marry anyone, I'd marry someone like you, a Kryptonian who could really handle me. But we're cousins, so that wouldn't work out. But if we That's did, amazing. that would be great." Oh my god, Ew. <laughs> it was so funny. Well, there's also the the Golden Age story arc where where uh, Supergirl has like a super horse. Who's just like a Kryptonian that got turned into a horse, but she doesn't know that. Yeah. So she just like, the horse just really wants to fuck her. <laughs> but whenever he imagines her, Oof. like like sexually or yeah. like or like like romantically, yeah. it's always him as the horse and her as the girl. Oh no! <laughs> oh, DC, why? I love Golden <laughs> Age DC. It's so <laughs> fucking gross. All of it is disgusting. <laughs> But honestly, yeah. the first volume of Green Lantern, not, not, not like the first volume, the, the first Hal Jordan Green Lantern like yeah. stories were beautifully, like the art was fantastic. Yeah. It was, be- it was uh, Gil Kane. Oh, Gil Kane is a fantastic artist. Yeah. Uh, uh, he's, is he dead? I think he's dead. Whatever. Fuck that guy. Yeah, probably. Fuck comic book Jacob, creators. is he dead? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this guy. The, the fat guy? Yeah. Yeah, he is disturbing. I don't like I mean, how most of them are disturbing, but like, where does the blood from his mouth come from? Uh, is it from something he ate? It's probably something. He Why ate. does it when he I'm look gonna, up? I'm gonna go out on a limb and say this guy likes to eat. Why does like when he look up sometimes there's like a giant blotch of blood on his like stomach area, or is that his neck? Oh, I don't know. Is that's that like a, a bloody look, bloody look neck beard? I I think that's his neck. I think that like he's he's tilting his head so far back that <laughs> he his looks like Jontron. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm glad yeah. I said that. Then there was no good <laughs> way to look at his face because he died immediately after. Yeah, I'll rewind. Actually, you know, fucking Jacob, put a put a picture of his face up on the screen and his weird neck beard, and, and then put a dick in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we got you, fat guy. <laughs> Man, I don't even know. A mega fatty. Oh, did, did that was actually that? the name. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I like to smoke a mega fatty. <laughs> 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 I've never actually smoked weed before. We talked about this. Did we? Yeah. On the show? I, on Bubsy. Oh, shit. Yeah. I always forget all the jokes we make on Bubsy, even though I really like that series. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't seen our classic, hilarious Bubsy series. Bubsy's pretty good, yeah. I think it's funny. 
No, I, I'm agreeing with I you. Think I, I think it's, it's funny. funny. It's just stop it. There, there, are, <laughs> there are there are time. We're we're getting used to this let's player thing. This whole YouTube shindig. Well, I mean, yeah, we're, but you know, we we occasionally aren't funny. So sorry about that. <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> That's a joke. If I ever heard one. Yeah. Why does the map look like a cross? Are you? Does this game have religious implications? <laughs> no. Well, there's one of our classic unfunny jokes. <laughs> Next. <laughs> no, but like, actually, that was a big criticism of this game when it came out. That it had religious implications. That it had religious implications and was trying, it was trying to be edgy by by making it dark religious. You mean like Prometheus? Have you ever seen Prometheus? Yes, yeah, they compared it a lot. Really? Yeah, exactly. I actually really like Prometheus. Do you, I, I think it's Prometheus. a great movie. I, I, I think we mentioned this like not on the show or anything, but yeah. like, I, I've seen Prometheus, but I didn't get it because mm -hmm. it's it's even though he says it wasn't supposed to be like a prequel, it was very much a prequel. It was no, it was supposed to be a prequel. It's no, he, he never he said, said that. that it was supposed to be like you could watch it even if you hadn't seen Aliens. And I did, and I did not get. I it. no, you could totally watch it even if you don't know Aliens. No, because I, I I got, like they would make stuff like references, and I knew it was a reference, and I didn't get the reference because I haven't seen Aliens, and so. Wait, what kind of shit would you think was a reference? Like you um, mean like Waylon? Like no, Mr. Like, Waylon? Whenever like the the baby alien like pops out his stomach and shit, that's a reference to well, Aliens. Well, yeah, that's the, that's that. the way end of the movie, and they only put I, that in there so they could like like have like a weird exactly, pre credits tease. They never brought that up in Alien Covenant, which is an aggressively okay film. Great performance by <laughs> I, Michael. Fass, I'm just Fass saying Bender. that I probably would have enjoyed Prometheus uh, if I had seen Aliens and was a fan of the series. Like the, the I, entire well, series. Aliens does not is not that important to it. Alien is. A Sorry, that's. I mean, the Alien films. Alien. Well, you've never seen Alien. I've never seen Alien or Alien really? Two. I it's believe. On, I'm watching classic movies now. It's on my list. Okay, I believe Alien, the first Alien, and I, I've seen it. I, I want to say two times this past year. Really? Yeah, I watched it actually last week. Oh, cool. Uh, I want to. I'm gonna say go on a limb here, and I understand film. Like I get I, film. I, I, uh. I am going to go out on a limb and say Alien is a perfect film with no flaws. A perfect film. A perfect film. That is a... That's a statement. That is, yeah. Wow. Uh, uh, Alien is my favorite film. It's one of my favorite really? films. I also oh, really okay. like uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. I haven't seen that either. That is a great movie. Really? Uh, if you ever want to... <laughs> if you ever want to <laughs> watch the gayest fucking movie, like, like legitimately gay... Sure. Now, like, <laughs> it's so gay. That's fucking gay, dude. No, this movie's really gay. It's Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Uh, I, <laughs> I I saw that. I watched a documentary on the whole Nightmare on Elm Street franchise. Okay. And it is... Did you forget to set the timer again? It's okay. There's a timer up here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, basically, the director was gay, but, like, super closeted. Oh, okay. And he basically just let it all out in the movie. Was it Larry Kramer? <laughs> <laughs> No. <laughs> uh, it was... There's a scene where uh, Freddy, like, possesses some kid. Okay. Makes him go to a gay bar. Then he goes to the bathroom of the gay bar, and suddenly he's in his high school gym locker room. Oh. And his coach is in there, and he whips his ca his coach on the ass with a towel until he dies. <laughs> and it's really gay. <laughs> that sounds fantastic, actually. Yeah. I'd love to see that. It's really funny. It also shits on Nightmare on <laughs> 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 Like, it is, like, genuinely, if you actually want to do, like, a series watch-through, yeah. I recommend just going straight to three, because that's a direct sequel. Okay. Two is just a complete enigma that has fucking, that has nothing <laughs> to do with Nightmare on Elm Street. That's cool, actually. Yeah, it's so weird. <laughs> it just has gay-ass Freddy in it. Cool. Yeah. Uh, so that, that's my movie that's recommendation my hour. Recommendation. Uh, uh, actually, it's Robert's movie recommendation <laughs> corner, right here on Criticade. Uh, I actually watched a bunch of classic movies this week, too, because like that's my new thing. Uh, Clockwork Orange. I've never seen it. It's uh, fucking good, man. I'm sure, yeah, that's what uh, I've heard. And what was the other one? Oh, Reservoir Dog. Reservoir Dogs. I've also never seen that one. Blade Runner. I've never seen it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I watched Truman Show, which I've seen before. But Truman Show it. is in my top five. Yeah, it's so good. I think the only thing that holds that back is, is uh, honestly, Jim Carrey. Really? I think he does I a thought, great I thought, job. I think he, he does, does a, a fantastic job. job, but not what the movie desire like deserves. I don't think that. I, I think that I think that knowing that it's Jim Carrey sometimes holds me back from like loving it, loving the character even more. Mm -hmm. But I think he does so good that it just it doesn't matter. I he can go a little bit into the cartoony 
like, ah, like, like, the, like the, the central point is that like he cannot act like an actor. Right. And he kind of shows that he's acting sometimes, uh, and that's that's like I would disagree because I I think that Truman Truman's character is a little bit he he's like a natural actor. Yeah. So I think that it works perfectly for the character. Yeah. But that's that's a difference of opinion. Like yeah. You know, I, I think specifically mistaking. his delivery of the last line is very weak, and it could be a very very powerful moment. Uh, I think it's fine. And when you read the script, which I have read the script, yeah, uh, it is a fantastic yeah. moment, but it loses something because he, he's I like, don't think. I, if I, I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And then he does that weird Jim Carrey smile. Yeah, he, he does that. But like he does that when he's a normal person too, so I don't think it loses It's true, but it, it, just, it just seems it just seems a little off to me. It seems a little off. You can you can see that like the producers were like, yeah, we need a big name. Well, let's do Jim Carrey. Uh-huh. And, and that was when Jim Carrey was doing his wacky, wild Academy Awards Buying. And and I, I kind of like, I kind of like that he has a movie that's a little bit more serious. I, I heard he's really good in Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, which I haven't oh, seen. Oh yeah, I should. I have to I, I hear too. nothing but good things about that yes, movie. I need same. to see it. Um, it's, it's Olivia's favorite movie. Isn't yes, it? our lovely animator Olivia. Yeah. Uh. So. And it's. I mean, yeah. I hear nothing but good things, and and he's supposed to be really good in it. Mm. I actually really like Jim Carrey's career. Like as it as it goes, as it goes farther and farther on, he like becomes. Ooh. Oh shit! Well, some of the, some of his movies don't hold up. No, no, they don't. But like as he goes on, like he he did a a cameo in Thirty Rock. Yeah. Where like he he's in a movie that they're constantly playing in the background, yeah. and it's like a parody of every Jim Carrey movie ever. Awesome! And it's so funny. I love that. It's it's a movie where he turns into the famous uh, Leap Day Williams, oh, which no. is a half fish man for Leap Day. Fuck! <laughs> I it's, hate that. It's I love so that actually. Funny. I, I, Thirty Rock's an amazing show, and and like shit like that. Like he'll do parodies and shit, which and is just funny. Speaking of amazing shows, yeah, we'll catch you next time. On cricket! Yeah. Mwah.